Hello again, welcome back to Asgard and welcome to just a really quick tutorial. I don't know if this is something that people normally use, uh, but it's something that I like using for like really dense storage, especially for stones. Uh, and I was just at the point in my Let's Play world where I was about to start setting these up here pretty soon. Uh, what I lovingly refer to as stone silos. But they are useful for other things like ingots or beeswax or whatever. Uh, it's basically just really, really dense, really accessible storage uh, for things that you have a lot of. Uh, I like going with trunks. You can do it with crates or chests or however. I like doing it with trunks just because they've got more storage. Uh, but if you are going to do this with trunks, just bear in mind that the, the side that you want to access when using trunks is the left side. It does not register anything on the right side. And what I'll do, I usually have a hopper just to help things out uh, as far as placing my elbow shoots. But I'll basically just run them in like that. And then what I'll do is just set the left side onto the chute and just kind of alternate these. Uh, so we'll have one there. And then we'll come up above that one, put in another chute once again on the left-hand side. And then we're going to put... another trunk in right there and basically we just keep repeating this um, however tall that we want to go with it so something like that and of course you can keep going taller you can go uh, horizontal as well if you want to use Archimedes screws for that uh, but then what we can do is have our basalt stone you know deposited say into this top chest and it's going to make its way down to the chest at the bottom uh, but what what it allows you to do is it allows you to basically have multiple trunks all interconnected stacked on top of each other for just the cost of a few elbow shoots actually really really cheap to set up like i said you can just continuously stack these i like going vertical with them uh, but like i said you can go horizontal with them as well and then of course with some mechanical power and a few more shoots we could set ourselves up an archimedes screw uh, with kind of like an input chest and then if we throw in that basalt stone uh, it's going to get sent up the Archimedes screw, and it's going to get delivered over to our chests that are over here. And you're going to say it's going to start coming in right there. Uh, so that way we can set up kind of like a, an easy input kind of over near it, uh, but then have it sent up to the very top of our silo and then brought, you know, brought into the top of our silo. And then this will be able to fill up however vertical we want to take it or horizontal if, if that worked out better. Uh, but I always call it, I've always called it stone silo because I always build them like a silo. But then I can have a really, really dense storage for whatever item I might want to store in the silo. And then I'd have easy access to it because this bottom chest would always have, would always be filled or would have the total amount of whatever item, you know, I had. So, but anyways, I just wanted to quickly show you that little system. I like using it in my worlds for like really dense storage. You do have to have a bit of copper to set it up, but it's really not that bad, uh, in my opinion, on materials. Especially with how convenient it makes things, so that way I don't just have big rooms filled with like stone bits. You know, I can build these silos, take them vertical, maybe make a couple of them, or go horizontal if I have just a lot of that material or something like that. But anyways, I hope it maybe helped you guys out a little bit uh, if you're looking for a dense storage option. Like I said, it's just something that I like using. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay up to date with when new videos come out. And I will see you guys next time.